Welcome back to another weapon build video and today we're going to take a look at the Ferox. So someone asked you this weapon and I'm going to do it. So let's get right into it. Ferox, pretty decent weapon. It's got high crit. So let's go ahead and take a look at the stats. Charge rate 50. We got fire rate is 1.33 and we have punch through. We have some magazine 10 and reload is 1.8. We got, like I said, 32% critical chance, 2.8 critical multiplier, and 10% status. So all based on critical chance, pretty good. Critical multiplier is pretty high too, so that is going to look good as well. Impact, puncture, and slash comes out to be 350 because puncture is the highest damage out of all impact slash. However, we got some pretty good slash damage, so yeah, we might be able to work out something there. And then we have radio attack, which impact damage is 100. Then you have the throw, the quick shot, the charge shot for it. And all of it, honestly, is just kind of butt. However, it's all built on status for charge shot. And that's where, you're obviously, you do the most damage when it comes down to that. But as you can see, the quick shot and the charge shot all have the same stats. All have the same stats. The charge shot is just obviously going to do uh, something after the it's an after effect. So that's what charge shot is for. Here's my build. Galvanized Chamber, 80% multi-shot. On kill, 30% multi-shot for 20 seconds. Stacks up to 5 times. So you're stacking at 5 times, 30% multi-shot. Vital Sense, 120% critical damage. Rhyme Rounds and Malignant Force. Toxin and Cold, 60% and 60% status chance. So the next mods that I'm using is Critical Delay, 200% Critical Chance, which ran 96%, and I reached a lot of CC. So that's really good, very, really good mod. And the next set of mods that I'm using is Hunted Missions. Like I said, we got some pretty good slash damage in here, right? And I thought, why not just use Hunted Missions in here? And uh, where are we? We're on, we're looking at this. And this, well, our slash damage is at 70%. So why not? You know, I think it's going to be pretty good. Or you could say 70 damage. Um, yeah, it's going to look good. And also to increase this more is using serration. All right, serration gives you 165% damage. So that's really good as well. And now our slash damage is at 185 along with our viral 1113. So everything has been increased damage wise and now over 3,673 charge shot is not going to be so useful as it looks right now everything is just still kind of not really in the range of doing good damage only for the charge shot for primary fire mode it's only going to be good for that and then last mod that I'm using is speed trigger because since our 20% negative fire rate has really decreased our fire rate we want to boost up even more, so Speed Trigger is the way to go. We have Primary Merciless as our Arcane. All right, on kill, 30% uh, sorry, thirty percent damage for 4 seconds, stacks up to 12 times, 30% real speed, and 100% ammo maximum. So since we have Vyra on here, we got some Slash going on here. Why not just take it up against Corpus as well? So, upon, you know, playing with this weapon, honestly, this is not a tasteful weapon. And what I mean by that is, like, this weapon is just not my style. I think the blast is just completely ass, and there's not enough explosion range. You can try to put fire, a prime firestorm on this, but it still doesn't make it even better. Because I tried it. It's trash. But like I put in every primary weapon build, Carrier Prime, if you use the Prime Laser Rifle or the Sweeper Prime, does not matter. You just need these three mods on. Vigilante Armaments, Offense, and Favor. And once you use those three mods, you'll get increased critical chance. So let's go ahead and test it out again. I don't know if anybody else liked this weapon. But honestly, me, I don't think I could ever use this. But 
there is some way to actually increase this damage even more and I'll show you right after but as you can see more increased critical chance is possible by using carrier prime slash this honestly I hunting missions was the best choice because honestly this weapon is just I don't know it's something wrong with it I really just don't like it overall but hunting missions does help help it and make it better so if you don't like the fact that serration is on here then you can go ahead and switch it out for your prime bane mod and whatever you want it to be at I'm gonna use prime bane corrupted alright because this is a really good mod for any unit of targets that you see fit so go ahead and use it you know honestly that's another way you can just fix it I know a lot of people just keep telling me about the bane mods that's cool I just don't use it because I have to keep switching the mods switching this switching that and I just hate doing it but it's not like I don't see them uh, in there I do but you know it's just for weapons that are just I don't know don't really hit right as other weapons do now you can use primary deadhead with this but I just prefer primary merciless last thing I kind of did want to check out is galvanized scope on headshot 120% critical chance when aiming for 12 seconds on headshot kill 40% critical chance when aiming for 12 seconds stacks up the five times I think I might have repeated that again or I don't really know I kind of confused myself there. <laughs> but however, this increases our, our critical chance even higher now. So um, I wanted to see this on here. Honestly, I don't really know how good it's going to do. So let's go ahead and give it a try a little bit. And then I don't think that was really going to be all for the build. But you know, I just wanted to see. This is this is an AOE weapon because it an explosion, so this is why I'm not using Galvanize Aptitude because it does not work on AOE weapons. So we do see some uh, big, the super, uh, what is it called? Critical hits. What's I see only saw this percentage of it, not really a lot. However, it is pretty doing some good damage. So yeah, not bad, but uh, no, nah, I don't think I would actually use this because it's not really doing that great and that is all for this build if you guys did like it then let me know in the comments below and if you didn't then please do not when taking ferox to the still path really cool weapon and everything that i showed in this build has really good mods in it for example hunter munitions which is making a really good uh, the build freaking good right now so yeah but however still wouldn't use this weapon i think there's just so much better out there Speaking of my favorite weapon of all time. And this... Wow. I did not think that secondary alt would be so good. Is it? It's just giving out... Sh oh, okay. I see. I see. I see what it's doing now. Not bad, however. But... Mm, it's just... He's, I thought it would need more work to that. But anyways, it is what it is. But, I, the, yeah, the reason why I didn't show the second alt, because honestly, I think it's lame. But, however, it did look good some for some reason to me. Wow, why is that shooting so slow? It it does give all shock. And then, I guess you shoot the enemies after, which are secondary. That's how I'm guessing it's working with some of these. Just like the Scourge Prime. But, Scourge Prime probably might be over, you know... Better than that, there are, and I just got taken down. Better than this weapon, add it, then yeah, just weapon alone. But it is what it is. You guys let me know what you think about Ferox in the comments below. But that's all for this video. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Follow me on all social medias and Twitch. Link's in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.